Look at that. Oh, Saigon in the building. This is an 18 million number. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another vlog. You might be wondering why I'm starting the vlog in the toilet. Okay, and today I'm starting out the vlog in our brand new house. And as you guys know, the house tour video is coming very soon. So I don't want to give away what the house looks like. So I'm starting out the vlog in the toilet <laughs> yeah guys recently i dropped my brand new song with noreen called fake love and the song has been trending ever since we released it guys and today we're gonna be reacting to your reactions oh can you just vlog <laughs> that was really good stop having my food can you really stop i'm hungry one piece of chicken. Put it back. One piece of chicken. One piece of chicken. I'm You're hungry. so selfish. I'm being serious. You're so selfish. <laughs> By the way, we're not doing this for the camera. She's actually the selfish. Like, she does not give her food to anybody. You're so selfish. Like, he takes 75% of the food and I eat 25 I wanted one piece of chicken. First person is my boy Hassan made a reaction. So let's see what he says. Okay, why does Mona look like he's about to fall asleep? Why do you look like you're about to fall asleep? That, that's the first 10 seconds of the video. I don't think you know what he's in. Can you just talk easy English for me? Actually, you know I'm watching you, but this <laughs> accent you're actually talking, I just can't understand it. You know what I'm on. <laughs> Ooh. You're such an ass. This car garage is stunning. So I think some of you may have seen this before. Just So you skipped me and you're talking about the cars. I'm like literally I'm like dancing and doing these nice moves. The cars are nice. And then the car is nice. Hey who's this? Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I can't see her. I know let her <laughs> So the next reaction we're reacting to you can't see the girl's face, but you can see her lips. So hopefully she likes the song. And <laughs> let's see. Can you stop, Leah? Yo, this is her lips. This is lips this, reacting. This is lips. This is actually lips reacting. Oh! There's a smile. I feel like all we're gonna see in the entire reaction is this. <laughs> That was honestly the most interesting reaction I've ever seen. Hopefully we'll see your face in the Yo, next video. Now that we're done with the reactions, okay, this is kind of something that everybody wants to know. What is the meaning behind the song? Why did we call it fake love? Does it say anything about me and Noreen? I'm gonna let you answer that question. Me? When we were in the studio, me and him had a fight. Then a guy was writing the lyrics for us and he was like, what do you want it to be about? So we're like, he's like, love, we're like hate, fakeness, fake love. So that's, that's the truth about the song and the relationship. There's a lot of fake love. <laughs> oh! We're gonna go to the mall and I'll see you guys on the other side with a new outfit. You can have my chicken. Oh my God, it's cold now. All right guys, so right now me and Lana have something very special to show you. Now, we're at the mall and our friend Saigon is coming with another friend of ours called Arif. He owns the plate number one charger. The plate number one. Like one. Y'all, if only you guys knew like how, like this type of numbers, like you rarely see and they're super expensive and like the big guys have it so he paid 15 million dirhams for it and they're gonna be here any minute look at that oh oh my god wow <laughs> hello hi you are guys i think you're right saigon in the building yo that's amazing so we're here look who just rolled up right now saigon is here Bro, this is an 18 million number. Oh, my bad. I said 15 accidentally. Uh, 18. 18 million dinner. And guess my brother Arif. This is the man himself, Mr. Arif. How are you? How's everything? Wow, this looks amazing. Bro, I was in Germany and I read it in the newspapers. Wow. <laughs> in Germany. So, yeah, guys, right now we are in the mall and 
it is not every day that you see your friend pull up in the plate number one. Now, as I said, guys, I'm here with Saigon. Yep. Bro. Bro. Yeah. Oh, it's crazy, right? The thing is, you know, when I was in Germany, uh, I saw him in the newspaper where he bought this plate for 18 million dirham. That's like six million dollars for a number plate. I tell you something, never feel poor because of these things. And to give you a statistic, you will not. If you want to be in the top 1% in the world, you only have to have eight hundred thousand dollars. Only, no. But <laughs> you would, you would think. More, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, all right. <laughs> okay. Different. You want to be in the top fifty percent. You only have to have four thousand two hundred dollars. So we need to appreciate what we have. We all are privileged. We should appreciate that because we don't see the real world out there. No, I don't know what to say. I'm, just, I'm accepting. <laughs> it's good advice. I'm, I mean, I'm like, yeah. Now, here's the thing. You guys always hear my man Saigon giving business advice, but today we're actually here with Arif, which is a good friend. And I thought, why not ask him? Because you're so successful yourself, what is one advice you would give younger people to make money? Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. That's it. Try more every time. Try. Don't give up at all. Don't trust anybody. And that's one thing he was telling me. He was saying just keep working, keep working, keep working. You might not make it the first time or second time, but if you keep moving, you will just make it. Yeah, of course. Thank you so much, man. Ar. Thank you. All right, guys. And there he goes. And there he goes. What do we appreciate in life? You know what Einstein said? What? He said, not everything you can count yeah. counts. And not everything that counts, you can count. I legit have no idea what you just said. Dude. I literally have no yeah. idea. Because, you know, money you can count, but does it really count? Love from your family, you cannot count, but that really counts, right? Ah, I get it. All right, guys, so right now, we're continuing off the day, and I've actually come to somewhere where I wanted to come for a while. I've come to this really cool dessert place where they have like the coolest desserts ever. So it's, this is not a sponsored thing. This is actually fun and shakes competition. Really, like this is, this is like competition. But guys, I always try new things just to see what they have. And check this out, guys. Wait, is this is this ours? No. Oh, that's not ours? <gasps> Oh, okay. All right, bye. So basically, they have this really cool dessert over here, and check this out. Whoa! Oh my god, bro, bro, bro! Oh my god! I always say this, but never see your competition as competition. You should support everyone, no matter what it is, and you can always get ideas. So this place has really cool desserts. So I'm gonna try it and let you know my honest opinion. It's actually really nice. I like it. Yeah, I think it's not bad. <laughs> what? It's not amazing. Like, I know, I love it. Like, it's cool. I love the, the whole design. Yeah, you like the show part of it. Okay, so the next dish just got here. S1 is having the waffle steak. So why did you order this one? Bro, you ordered that one. That, that, that was yours. So stay tuned. We're having something very similar in front of Jake's. <laughs> <laughs> Coming soon. <laughs> Guys, all the all jokes aside, I just want to say, no matter what it is, always support anybody around you. Like, don't. If you see your competition as something that's destroying you, then it's not the business for you. Alright, guys. So right now, look who joined us, Nareen. Thank you for coming. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming, guys. So Nareen is here. I think we took we took you guys. Oh, yes. Is that that's it? Yes. <laughs> We Guys, Nareen just put the bottle in his hand. <laughs> so right now we decided to come watch a scary movie. <laughs> my, my bones are cut off. Listen, we're watching a scary movie right now. Nareen joined us. Today's a weird time. I didn't want to join you guys. <laughs> it was her idea, to be honest. Yeah, to be honest. It was Hi guys, we're going to watch the movie right now, and we'll see you guys after. We're watching a scary movie, and more scared. It's a scary movie. Everyone here is scared, except me. Uh oh, uh oh, it's starting. <laughs> the movie's starting. Uh, uh, oh, bata bata. <laughs> nice movie, that's it. Alright guys, the movie's starting. By the way guys, Mo took off his shoes and it kind of smells <laughs> like a pizza. No, it's my shoes. <laughs> I swear to God, I swear to God. Nareen, this is what you deserve. <laughs> 
Noreen made us watch the scariest this movie. This is the worst movie ever. <laughs> ever this ever. is the water they used. The movie just finished right now. You don't understand how we were sitting in this movie. <laughs> like me, we were, S1 and Noreen were in one seat. What? <laughs> in one seat. At one point, I was sitting in the middle and like, I was sitting like this, but I still... <laughs> And more holding hands. Find somebody who loves you, somebody who needs you. 